What up? It is a big day today. We have bought the floor. Uh, we went to Home Depot and bought some foam board and some plywood. This is one of the biggest steps that we've started so far. Check down the description of the tools and materials and things that we've used. I'll try to link as much as I can down below. So the foam we got is XPS. We got one inch foam and three quarter inch plywood. The foam in today and then tomorrow we are going to put the plywood in. How far does this? Because this isn't straight, this looks crooked. Oh. Just spread it out. So in case you hear trees fall, it's intentional. Okay. Smells like blue flake. That was good? Uh, yeah, I think so. Okay, so I want you to put it down and press it against that shim right there. There you go. Should I sit on it now? Yeah, just don't put concentrated pressure like that. Can I just lay on my back? Okay, I'll just stay there for the rest of the video. Okay, hey, tell us what we did first. What did we do? We put in one panel, and now Allie is sitting on it so that it sticks to the floor. How much glue did it use? <laughs> All of the ones that we bought. There's a pile over there. Yeah, so we bought three tubes of glue, thinking that's all we needed for at least for now. But we used all three for just one panel. So we're going to have to go back to the store. It's going to be great. But the first one is in and Ali is sitting on it making sure it stays. Okay, I am back with more glue. We've got the next panel in. Okay, we're going to glue, starting on that side. Ew. It is slime, you should touch it. You're so right on that one. Side corner. Oh, that shit fell off. Fine. Let's see. Um, I need to go around closer to the edge. Ow. Sorry. Close my finger. There you go. Okay, I sit on it. Next one done. Uh, we're doing like a staggered shape so that our seams aren't matching up. How's the glue doing on this one? So good. I sat on it. So good. Yeah, so I cut that down. You can see here, cut it down, make sure it was kind of straight. It kind of fit like a glove. We got some big old glue pieces. We're gonna glue down the next section. Um, the next part from here forward is gonna be a full piece. All right, there's, you got the next one. You got the next one? Piper, do you like our bus? Yeah? How much? A hundred. That's a lot, by the way. We got the floor in. Well, kind of. This is just the foam in. It went in pretty smoothly. Uh, we had to do some fab work and kind of make cut around because these are four foot wide. So two next to each other is eight feet and it's about a seven and a half foot wide area. So we just had to do some cutting. So this is how it looks. All in, um, cut that around, uh, cut for the fuel filter, it just needs to be finished cut. Um, put that all the way to the edge, and then here all the way to that edge. We'll have to buy some more pieces and kind of figure out what we're doing in this mess. What up guys, we are back at the bus, and we are putting the plywood in. Uh, we put our first piece in just a little bit ago but we are having trouble having it laid down flat. So we have some cinder blocks laying on it, and now we're gonna put the next piece in. How we 
y'all doing today? It's another bus vlog coming at you from the bus. stick, right? Yeah, by standing on it. Are you taking a video of me? Why? Well guys, the floor is in. It went in pretty smoothly once we knew what we were doing. Uh, let me show you. Here's the floor, uh, all the way up to here where we put the foam. We decided to use screws also with glue because it held it down better. We used pretty long self-tapping screws so that it can stay on the ground without coming up. There it is. It's beautiful and solid. Again, we use three quarter inch plywood and one inch foam. Check down in the description of the tools and materials and things that we've used. I'll try to link as much as I can down below. Uh, this is very exciting and I hope you continue with our adventure. Thanks for watching.